This last year has been nuts when it comes to the stock market. There have been stocks that have literally gone up 100x. People have gotten ridiculously rich like this guy who went from $750,000 invested to over 45 million. Bruh. So in this video, I am going to be ranking the best stocks over the last year. And we're gonna go into why each of these stocks did so well and what we can learn about this so that we can use it in the future when it comes to our investments. All right, so number one, on the list starting off we're going to be talking about Alphabet, also known as Google. Probably the most powerful company in the world. In 2020, the stock went up about 30%. Pretty good, but compared to a lot of the other tech-related companies that actually ended up benefiting from, you know, the whole corona thing, not as good as some of the other ones. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this one into D tier. D for diabolical company that might be taking over the world. <laughs> Next, we're going to be talking about Amazon. And of course, this is the internet retailer. This is a company that is basically the everything store. They went up about 76% in 2020, and they absolutely killed it while small businesses and retail stores that rely on foot traffic were suffering. This one is gonna go into B tier. B for Bezos has a great evil billionaire laugh. <laughs> Next on the list is going to be AMC, and this is a common theater company. They show movies here in the US, and they have kind of a cult following online. So this is actually a company that was heavily shorted by a lot of these hedge funds, very similar to the GameStop situation, if you're familiar with that. And because of that, a lot of people on the internet wanted to invest in them because they thought that they were being shorted for a really bad reason. Now, this one didn't go up as much as GameStop. Maybe it will happen here in the near future where it does, nobody really knows. But but overall, I'm gonna put this one into C tier. Next on the list, we're gonna be talking about Apple. Now, Apple did pretty well. They went up about 81% in 2020, and they're continuing to do pretty well here in 2021. And they pretty much do well no matter what year it is. Um, you know, this is one of the most consistent companies. I'm gonna go ahead and put them into B tier. B for billion dollar company because people are willing to stand in line for hours just to get the newest iPhone. And guys, I'm going through these pretty quickly because I want to be able to get through the list and make this a relatively short video so it's not like an hour long but the next one on the list is going to be Boeing a huge company in the aerospace industry they got absolutely destroyed this year just about every company that's related to flying and aerospace got destroyed just because of the fact that a lot of airlines ended up shutting down they actually lost 34 percent in uh, 2020 so this one is going to go into F tier this one is going to go into F tier F for last time I flew my flight got canceled twice next one on the list is very similar it's going to be carnival and this is of course a cruise line so if you wanted to go you know do a cruise in the Mediterranean or a cruise in the Caribbean. This is uh, one of those huge boats that you see. So of course, you know, cruises were shut down during 2020. And so this company lost a lot. I think they went down even more, about negative 56%. Nobody wants to be stuck on a boat with a bunch of sick people. Some people who were on cruises actually ended up kind of like stranded on the boat for several weeks or even like a month because nobody wanted them to board because they thought it was possible some of the people had coronavirus. So yeah, anyway, this one obviously is going to go into F tier. F for floating through the Mediterranean would be pretty cool. Next, we're going to talk about Chipotle. This is a company that has a ever popular Chipotle burritos. They did surprisingly well this year. A lot of retail food companies didn't do so well, but they were able to adapt extremely fast and they were able to make it to where, you know, you could very easily order Chipotle online and just go and pick it up or you could use Uber Eats or any other number of apps. And so they actually went up about 65%. Very impressive. Good job to Chipotle. I'm going to go ahead and put them into B tier. B for the burritos just keep getting smaller and smaller. Next on the list is Coca-Cola. They, of course, are a soda company, really big company. And, uh, you know, they actually were down about negative 1% this year, probably because of the fact that not as many people were going out to restaurants and ordering Coca-Cola, not as many people were going to the movie theaters and ordering it, etc. So for that reason, they are going to go into F tier. F for the factory in Atlanta is actually really cool. Next on the list is going to be Dr. DocuSign, and this is a company that is basically exactly what they sound like. It's going to be all about signing documents, but of course online, so signing documents remotely. They went up a ridiculous 
200 percent in 2020 they absolutely killed it the last year and it makes total sense i mean you know a lot of people obviously were not going to be signing documents in person so companies were basically forced to move over to an online document signing platform and DocuSign was the best one available. So because of that, I'm gonna go ahead and put them into A tier. A for always takes people forever to sign a document and then send it back to you. Why is this? Next on the list is going to be Etsy. And this is kind of like an online retail type company, except that people generally just sell stuff that's handmade. So it's not like a mass manufacturing type of uh, online retailer like Amazon. So they went up about 302% in 2020. They absolutely killed it. So many people were stuck at home bored and they probably started creating art and then selling it on Etsy. I was actually uh, recently in Puerto Rico. I ran into this girl who was like 20 years old or so and she actually started a successful Etsy business online during the pandemic. All right, so this one goes into A tier. A for art degree is not needed to post products on here. Next one on the list is going to be Facebook, probably the biggest social media platform. And uh, they went up about 33% this year. Now, any other year, that would be incredible, right? That would be absolutely amazing. But a lot of the other social media companies actually outperformed them quite a bit. A lot of the other uh, tech companies as well. And so for uh, this one, I'm actually gonna go ahead and put Facebook into D tier. D for do you like smoking meat. Next one on the list is going to be GameStop, probably the stock they got the most attention out of any stock over the last year or so. I think everybody's heard about the situation. I actually made an entire video on it. So if you haven't, you can go check out my video on GameStop stock. But basically, a bunch of hedge funds shorted GameStop because of the fact that, you know, they weren't getting as much foot traffic and they are a company that kind of relies on foot traffic. So a lot of people online are big fans of GameStop, a lot of gamers and stuff like that, right? And so they thought it was very unfair that all of these hedge funds were shorting the company. So they all got Got together and they sort of uh, invested in GameStop, which caused these hedge funds to lose billions of dollars. Then there was a bunch of other controversies that happened where some of the uh, online brokerages blocked your ability to buy GameStop stock, which kind of, you know, helped the hedge funds out and hurt the everyday average retail investor. But anyways, there was a particular poster named Keith Gill. His name on YouTube was Roaring Kitty and his name on Reddit was Deep Effing value and uh, he basically went from $750,000 to over $40 million with his investment into GameStop. So this one is clearly S tier. I mean, this one went up more than like any other stock uh, in, in the last year or so. Now, of course, it's gone down since then, but hey, maybe it might rally again. I actually have a little bit in GameStop just, you know, almost for the meme of it. Um, but uh, yeah, um, this one clearly is going to go into S tier. S for I like the stock. Next on the list is going to be another Fortune 500 company, L Brands. Um, you may not be familiar with them, but uh, they're basically the brand that owns Victoria's Secret. They also own other, you know, apparel and footwear companies. They went up about 105% in 2020, which is extremely impressive, especially considering the fact that a lot of these companies are, you know, retail and they rely on foot traffic, which of course you didn't get very much of in 2020. But they did a great job uh, pivoting into the online space. So I'm I'm gonna go ahead and put them into B tier, B4, but what actually is Victoria's Secret? Next on the list is McDonald's, and this of course is a restaurant, very popular restaurant here in the United States. They went up about 9% during 2020, which, you know, it isn't horrible, you know, 9% that you're outperforming the average, but in a bull market like we have right now, it's not great either. They did do better than a lot of restaurants out there. They did a relatively good job kind of pivoting and uh, embracing more of an online presence. But overall, you know, compared to a lot of the other, you know, tech companies and companies on this list, I'm going to have to put them into D tier. D for dude, why is your ice cream machine always broken? Next on the list is going to be McKesson, and they are basically a drug delivery company. Um, they're going to be the ones who send drugs to pharmacies and hospitals. A lot of people invested in McKesson because they thought they were going to be the ones who were delivering the uh, coronavirus shots, which they did end up doing quite a bit of that. Overall, the stock jumped about 27.1% or so, which is good, but not as good as you would have expected. So I'm going to go ahead and put them into C tier. C for can you please stop putting stuff on back? order.
Sorry, that's that's a pharmacy joke. I couldn't help myself. All right, next on the list is another company in pharmaceuticals called Moderna. They were one of the biggest gainers out of all the pharmaceutical companies. So basically, uh, they were one of the ones who were developing the C virus vaccine. And I believe they were actually number one. They were the first one to actually get finished with it. Now, they are actually smaller than some of the other companies like Pfizer, for instance. And so when they were able to get approved for uh, the coronavirus, coronavirus, um, their stock just soared. It went up about 434% in 2020. And over the last 12 months or so, I think it was around 570, almost 600%. And they were the first ones, number one, to get the emergency use uh, authorization for the uh, vaccine. So overall, I'm going to go ahead and put them into A tier. A for America. Next on the list is going to be Netflix. This is a video entertainment company. I think everybody is aware of them. And uh, they went up about 67% or so. Did pretty good. Uh, not as good as some of the other tech related companies, but pretty good. And uh, you know, two words, Tiger King. Netflix goes into B tier. B for Carol Baskin. Next on the list is going to be Nike. This, of course, is a clothing and shoe company. They went up about 40% during the pandemic, and this isn't horrible, you know, um, but compared to some of the other companies on this list, it's not great. They did a decent job uh, pivoting into online sales when some of the foot traffic slowed down in their, their normal stores. It's just that some of the other companies on this list did better. So I'm gonna go ahead and put them into C tier. C for cool shoes, bro. Next on the list is going to be NVIDIA, and they're basically most known for selling like graphics cards, GPUs. They're kind of on the cutting edge of uh, semiconductor technology, and they went up about 122% in 2020. Very good. Again, great performance, just not as good as some of the other ones on this list. So for that reason, they are going to go into B tier. B for Bitcoin mining. Next on the list is going to be PayPal, and this of course is a company that facilitates online transfer of money. Another technology company that did really well, they had 117% gains this last year, which is fantastic. They are going to go into B tier as well, almost A tier. B for buy and sell stuff and pay like 5% in fees. Next on the list is going to be PBF Energy. This, of course, is a energy gas company. And these companies got absolutely destroyed in 2020. So they went down about negative 78%. And pretty much all energy related companies got destroyed in 2020. And hey, this is something we can learn from. If something like this ever happens again, where we can't really leave our houses and travel and stuff like that is restricted, which there's a pretty good chance that this is going to happen again. You have to be realistic about this. You know, companies like this are not going to do very well. So this one went into F tier, F for fail. All right, next one is a little bit surprising. It's going to be Peloton Interactive, They're the company that uh, create a lot of workout equipment, for instance, the Peloton machine, which is basically where you pedal in your living room. So they sell home workout equipment, which of course in 2020 was extremely popular and they ended up going up about 434%. You know, everybody ended up starting their own at home gyms. I sort of tried to myself and then I ended up not really using it at all, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, this one uh, is going to go into A tier. A for am I the only one who quit working out as soon as the pandemic started? Next on the list is is going to be Starbucks. And everybody knows what that is, biggest coffee company in the world. They went up about 24% in 2020. They did okay. You know, they pivoted relatively well compared to a lot of the other, you know, coffee related businesses. I'm going to go ahead and put them into C tier. C for caramel macchiato. Tesla is next on the list. Maybe the only other company besides GameStop that got a ridiculous amount of press. Thanks to the meme lord Elon Musk, who somehow is constantly on the front page of the internet. They went up 743% in 2020. And if you, you know, extend that out a little bit into 2019 and a little bit into uh, 2021, at some points they were up 1000%. This is the biggest winner out of all of the companies. It's just absolutely ridiculous. Tesla clearly goes into S tier. 
S for super stonk. Next one on the list is going to be Clorox Company. So this of course is a company that manufactures cleaning related goods. Now this is a kind of like a production line type of company. And uh, I think it's really impressive that they did so well considering the type of company they are. They did a lot better than other, you know, production line type companies. Also a company that made it onto the list of the best companies to work for. Another video that I did recently. And it's such a novel concept. When you treat people really well, they tend to be loyal to you in times where things get hard. Isn't that crazy? You know, really happy to see that they did so well during the pandemic. They went up about 34%, which is not too bad, especially considering the type of company they are. And so I'm going to go ahead and put them into B tier. B for bleach. All right, guys, so I'm going to speed through the rest of these. You know, I, I want to make sure this video doesn't get too long. So I'm just going to speed through these. So, you know, obviously I couldn't include every company out there on this list. I tried to kind of stick to certain types of companies uh, just to teach you guys like kind of what happened with certain types of companies when something crazy like this happens in the world, just so you'll get a general idea of what is likely to happen in the future if this happens again. So Tyson Foods this is obviously a food related uh, company. Um, you'll probably see them if you go to Walmart or any other store. They did not do too well, 27.3%. I put them into F tier. Walgreens, your big retail pharmacy store, didn't do very well, you know, decrease in foot traffic, negative 32%, put them into F tier as well. Walmart, they went up about 21%. Um, they weren't doing too well at first, but they've been recently really embracing the online business model. They're kind of copying Amazon with their FBA, which is fulfillment by Amazon model. They're allowing people to sell their own products through the Walmart website. Um, so they went up about 21%, not too bad. I'm going to go ahead and put them into C tier. Washington Prime Group, which is a real estate investment company. They focus on REITs, which is a real estate investment trusts, negative 77%, really, really rough. Now, I talk about this a lot on my channel. Uh, investing in real estate has a lot of risks that almost none of these real estate investing channels tell you. I still think it's great to invest in real estate, but you must understand the risk. So this one actually goes into F tier for 2020. Didn't do too well, negative 77%, that's rough. Wells Fargo, one of the biggest banks in the world, uh, kind of like a traditional type bank, uh, they went down negative 41%. Again, they kind of rely on foot traffic. There's a lot of online banks now where they don't even have physical locations and there are a lot of positives to banking with them instead. So Wells Fargo goes into F tier. Zoom, this of course was a company that did very well here in uh, 2020. And uh, you know, they went up about 396%. Another tech company that did really well, they have to go into A tier. Keep in mind guys, uh, this is kind of just looking back on, you know, how companies companies did in 2020. And I sort of tried to include companies from just about every sector out there. So you could sort of see generally speaking, how these different companies did. So that if something like this looks like it's going to happen again in the future, you know what types of companies are going to end up gaining in value. This doesn't necessarily mean that these companies are going to go up in the future. So I don't want you to like invest in all of the S tier companies. In fact, there's a good chance that because of the fact that they gain so much in value, when things go back to normal, these companies might even go down, right? The stock might actually decrease. So with that being said, guys, if you haven't done it already, go ahead, gently tap the like button, hit that subscribe button, ring the notification bell, comment down below any thoughts, comments, criticisms, et cetera, that you have, uh, stocks that I should have, you know, had on the list, stocks that I shouldn't have had on the list, that I put something in A tier that should have been in S tier, et cetera, et cetera. Let me know down in the comments below. And before you leave, check out my other videos right here. I made them just for you.